As a college student at Harvard, Joe had always been curious about the final clubs. He had heard stories of secret societies and exclusive parties, but had never been able to get in. One night, after a few too many drinks, Joe decided to take matters into his own hands. He snuck into the Porcellian Club, one of the most prestigious final clubs at Harvard, hoping to catch a glimpse of the secret world inside. At first, everything seemed normal. The club was filled with well-dressed students, sipping cocktails and chatting in hushed tones. But as Joe made his way through the crowd, he noticed something strange. In a back room, a group of students were gathered around a table, poring over what looked like blueprints. Joe couldn't resist his curiosity. He crept closer, trying to get a better look. Suddenly, one of the students looked up and spotted him. Joe froze, unsure of what to do. The student beckoned him over, and Jack reluctantly approached the table. What are you doing here? The student asked, eyeing him suspiciously. I was just curious, Joe stammered. I didn't mean to intrude. The student sighed. Fine. But you can't tell anyone about this. We're working on a project, and it's top secret. Joe nodded, still unsure of what was going on. But as he looked at the blueprints, he realized that he had stumbled upon something big. The students were planning to build a secret tunnel under the Harvard campus, connecting all of the final clubs together. Joe knew he had to get out of there before he was caught. But as he slipped out of the club, he couldn't shake the feeling that he had just witnessed something he wasn't supposed to. He didn't know what the final clubs were planning, but he knew it couldn't be good. Joe couldn't stop thinking about what he had seen at the Porcellian Club. He knew he had to find out more about the final clubs and their plans. Over the next few weeks, he spent every spare moment researching the clubs and their history. What he found shocked him. The final clubs had a long history of exclusivity and elitism, dating back to their founding in the 19th century. They were known for hosting wild parties and secret rituals, and for being a haven for the wealthy and privileged. But there was more to the final clubs than just partying. Joe discovered that they were also deeply connected to the issue of sexual assault on campus. The clubs were often the site of parties where alcohol flowed freely and consent was not always respected. Many students believed that the clubs were complicit in perpetuating a culture of sexual violence at Harvard. As Joe dug deeper, he realized that he had stumbled upon something much bigger than just a secret tunnel. The final clubs were a powerful force on campus, with connections to wealthy alumni and powerful politicians. They had a vested interest in maintaining their power and influence, and would stop at nothing to protect their secrets. Joe knew that he was in over his head. But he also knew that he couldn't just walk away. He had to find a way to expose the final clubs and their dark secrets, no matter what the cost. Joe couldn't shake the feeling that he was in over his head. He had stumbled upon something much bigger than he had anticipated, and he wasn't sure what to do next. He knew that exposing the final clubs and their secrets would be dangerous, but he also knew that he couldn't just sit back and do nothing. Over the next few weeks, Joe began to gather evidence. He talked to students who had been victims of sexual assault at the final clubs, and he dug into the club's financial records, looking for any signs of corruption or wrongdoing. As he worked, Joe began to realize just how powerful the final clubs were. They had deep connections to the wealthy and powerful, and they had a long history of protecting their own. But he was determined to expose the truth, no matter what the cost. If you are new to the channel or interested in the mysteries of secret societies, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and comment on this video.